Hello Red Devils, I'm your solution engineer and I'm back again with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be predicting Manchester United's lineup against Brighton. So the match is at home at Old Trafford. It's on Saturday at 3 p.m. UK time kickoff. And you know, it's a fantastic game to go into after a big game. So you know, we played Tottenham and we beat them 1-0 and it was an amazing result in my opinion. I mean... That was the big test for Manchester United, for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and for the players. And they passed with flying colours, albeit the second half was really all defensive. But the first half was absolutely amazing. The players, they played to a high standard and, you know, they really put in a shift. And especially, you know, Paul Pogba's passing ability is second to none. He's incredible on the ball and his vision, passing range, passing ability is, you know, world class. And we, we have been seeing that for the last couple of games. But, you know, to, to do that against Tottenham at Wembley in a big game, you know, it's a must-win game for us because we're now level on points with Arsenal. It's, it's really an incredible achievement by the players. And we have to follow that on, you know, with a good convincing victory over Brighton. So let's get straight into the team without further ado. So David Hay in goal. He's proved against Tottenham why he is still the best goalkeeper in the world. There was some doubts regarding, you know, earlier on the season when he wasn't um, you know, on form, but he against Tottenham he made 11 saves, which is I think the second highest he's ever made for us in a match. Um, the first highest was against Arsenal last season, I think, where we won 3 1. Um, but you know, 11 saves, um, you know, he's there at the right time at the right place. His reaction speed is, is just godly, you know, he's not even human, he's absolutely amazing. David De Gea, best goalkeeper in the world, left back Luke Shaw, he's a player that we can rely on, he's reliable, and he's just a solid player. So, you know, we have to give Luke Shaw as much of an extended run in the team as we can because he can be a f exceptional and he can be a left-back for, you know, a long, long time. So, Luke Shaw in the team. Centre-backs, you know, Luke Victor Lindelof, hopefully he's not injured um, because I think he, had, he did have cramps near to the end of the Tottenham game. But Victor Lindelof has become a, a solid player for us. You know, his tackling against Tottenham was, it was literally Vidic-esque and... Um, you know, Victor Lindelof has to be in the team. There's no doubt. Hopefully, he's not you know injured or picked up a knock against Tottenham because he has to be starting for us. Now, alongside him, I want to see Eric Bailly. So I think Eric Bailly's suspended run has come to an end. So he is available for selection. He's not injured, um, and I want to see Bailly come in. I'm not sure whether Oli will play him, but I really want to see Eric Bailly given another chance. Okay, he was a bit of a reckless tackle where he got the red card, but. Eric Bailly also, he needs that he needs confidence back and the only way he will get that back is through a run of games. Right back, I want to see Diogo Dalot start. Ashley Young, he's been good. We need to keep him. You know, we need to rotate Ashley Young. And again, it's against Brighton at home, so it should be it should be a, a relatively easy, you know, performance by us. So that's why I want to see Dalot start. Dalot came on against Tottenham in the right mid position and he did some great tackles. So I really want to see Dalot start against Brighton. Now, the midfield, I wouldn't change anyone in the midfield. So, Matic, Herrera and Paul Pogba, all three of them, you know, they played a brilliant game against Tottenham. Matic, Herrera, you know, plays with a lot of passion. And I think he created, he had the most ball recoveries against Tottenham, which is, you know, under Herrera in a nutshell. He's just a brilliant player. And then you got Paul Pogba, who was, he showed his well class abilities in that match. And he showed that he can produce... You know, against a big team and a big match and a big pressure match, he showed that he can produce, you know, what we all know that he can do. So Paul Pogba and then Nemanja Matic, you know, he's just looking like a great player um, recently because of the run of games. And um, yeah, this midfield is obviously our strongest midfield. And hopefully, you know, they're all fit and ready to play. Um, I don't want to see rotation in the midfield just yet. I don't think Fred's ready for first team football at the moment. I still think he needs to be eased in. Um, Andres Pereira, I don't think he's ready for first team football, even though I have been raving on about Andres Pereira. He played, you know, in the, against Reading in the FA Cup and he didn't look that great. Neither did McTominay and neither did Fred. So that's why on, on, on the merit of performances, they don't deserve to be in the first team. But Matic, Pogba and Herrera definitely do. So I wouldn't change the midfield. Um, Anthony Martial, I would keep him in the team. His, his direct running against Tottenham was really impressive. And he also needs to get a run of games. So hopefully he does not get dropped for this match. Because Martial is a fantastic player. Great player that we have. You know, his forward running is just is amazing. His dribbling, his control is, 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 is really, really great to see. 
Up front, I would start Marcus Rashford. Obviously, you know, Marcus Rashford, he's just, he's turned into a great striker on Dali. I'm not sure what he's done, but, you know, the guidance that he's got given um, has really impacted Rashford and he's looking like a clinical striker. Um, that was the only thing missing from his game. His finishing wasn't that great under Mourinho. But under Ali, it looks like Rashford has been working on his finishing. And, you know, um, his finish against Tottenham proves that some, something has been going on. You know, something has been learning. He has been learning um, and he has been training. And you can see, because against Tottenham, that finish was incredible. The range, the angle was tight. And, to, you know, it was a pinpoint shot from Marcus Rashford to give Man United the 1-0 lead. And now, in the right wing position, I would start Jesse Lingard, but I want to see Alexis Sanchez play. against. It's against Brighton, so you don't really need your first 11. Um, Sanchez, you should be able to produce against Brighton. If Sanchez does not produce against Brighton, then, you know, I think his days are numbered at Manchester United. Because, you know, we've, we've given him so much chances and he's just he's just been below par. Um, he's not been up to the standard that we, we, we saw him at Arsenal. He was a world-class player at Arsenal. He's come to Manchester United. And he just looks very, you know, he loses the ball a lot. And he doesn't really look like the magic player that we bought. But I want to see him play against Brighton. And I do think Alex Sanchez, hopefully given a run of games, can, you know, come up to the levels that we saw him at Arsenal. So this team is fairly solid. It's against Brighton. So, you know, um, I think there's bound to be some sort of rotation. That's why I've brought in Diego Dallo, Eric Bailly and Alexis Sanchez. Um, other than that, the midfield remains the same. That midfield is exceptional. So we've got David De Gea, Shaw, Lindelof, Bailly, Dalo, Matic, Herrera, Pogba, Martial, Sanchez and Marcus Rashford up front. Now I see nothing else but then a Manchester United victory. Um, I'm going with 3-0 to Manchester United. It's at Old Trafford, you know, the fans behind the backs. And it should be a professional performance by us. Um, yeah, so 3-0 to Manchester United. So anyways, let me know what you think about this team in the comments below. Please like, subscribe and I'll see you guys later.